So what do we do? It's not just about pointing out the problems. What do we do? How do we attack this? How do we become anti-communists and practice anti-communism? Well, we got some action items for you. First, on the cultural destruction end, don't be ashamed of your nation's past. Don't ever let them do that to you. Don't let them say, oh, you must be a confederate. You like slavery? Don't allow them to use your values against you. Two, inspire appreciation for your culture, for your history. Talk to your children about how wonderful it is. When your child comes home after history class and tells you, Dad, I learned today that Andrew Jackson was a monster. Sit your child down and explain that Andrew Jackson was a lion with flaws and that this nation was built by men like Andrew Jackson. Don't shy away from it. Wade into it. Celebrate it. Protect the monuments you have in your community. Don't allow a bunch of soft loser communists on your city council to tear down your history. Your history matters. It is wonderful and it is important. And if they do, if they do bow to the mob, Republican or Democrat, get them out of office with a purpose. Put the fear of God in any other politician who may think about doing these things. Let them know you will take their seats of power away from them. And, and this might be the most important thing, Build new ones. Don't just complain about them tearing down a monument of Washington, D.C., or of George Washington. Go demand your city council build a new one. Christopher Columbus, right beside him. Be proud enough to build new monuments to your history. It does matter. You may not think it doesn't, or you may not think it does, but it does. Now as to the street groups. The money supply. These are not just random groups. They don't just show up just out of the goodness of their own hearts. They're funded. Remember when BLM and Antifa were burning down those cities? Miraculously, pallets of bricks would just show up in cities? That didn't just happen. They didn't fall out of the sky. These groups are organized and they're funded. So get your state and local law enforcement. The feds won't do it. They're part of it. Get your state and local law enforcement involved. Infiltrate these networks blow up the money portion of it by attacking the money portion of it. Two, designate these groups like Antifa and Black Lives Matter terrorist organizations. That's what they are. They're clearly terrorist organizations. Have your state, have your city, have your county, designate them that. Helps them break it up. Also, support DAs. George Soros and the communists figured out a long time ago the DAs are where the power lies because they can choose who gets indicted and who doesn't get indicted. Let's go put our own DAs in there and do that ourselves. Finally, I have a plan to defend your home or business. Don't just hope the cops are going to show up. The street animals may very well come knocking on your door one day. Don't let them take what's yours. All right?